Well, I'm on the farm today. Got to unlock this gate. We really had some. <clears throat> we we have really had some wind. This is supposed to be on the end of a gutter. Can you believe it? That wagon has flipped over again. I'm going to have to put fluid in the tires, I reckon. So I'm up here on the farm. So I'm up here on the farm after work. Kind of racing against the, uh, the sun going down. I've got daylight savings time in my corner. I have got my Vermeer hat. <clears throat> An extra long sleeve shirt as it is a little bit cool yet. I have not had time <clears throat> to monkey with the uh, Massey Ferguson 50 and uh, I need to get this thing started. Make sure there's no mouse nest in it or snake. This is a John Deere 5055D if you're new to the channel. <clears throat> it is the backbone of this farm. If it'll start. Oh yeah. No flat tires either. thought I'd show you some of the carnage uh, from the other night uh, the video I had and uh, got my John Deere 5055 D the uh, Fred Kane uh, spring tooth field cultivator uh, just give you a little better look see at uh, what I got going on here and uh, as you can see uh, it's, it's doing a pretty good job of, of uh, tearing up the ground. Uh, got a lot of work to do yet. I'm bringing up stuff I'd prefer just to leave in the ground. Uh, that kind of bugs me a little bit. Uh, up here in the sod, uh, it's doing a good job. We're going to have to work this ground a, a good bit, and then uh, I don't have a whole lot of time racing against the dark. But this is what it takes, and uh, I'll have to come through and pick all this crap up to the extent we can. And it'll kind of be good to get it out of here. So I've got a little bit of mileage to put on this field with this tractor cultivator and a disc to get it ready. Uh, put some seed on it of some sort. I bought this thing at an auction. I'll probably do a video on it sometime. Uh, it works pretty good for what we do on this farm. I'll come back. So I continue to work this ground, and as I feared, uh, I'm bringing up a lot of stuff that I kind of wish would stay in the ground. But on the other hand, um, the uh, cultivator is kind of acting like a big York rake uh, in many ways. And uh, what happens is, down here where the autumn olives were, uh, there's still a lot of debris on the surface and of course it's under the ground too and in the sod it just uh, goes right through it but what I'm finding is and I kind of 
I kind of, being a hotshot engineer, I kind of look for cause and effect, and if this happens, then this will happen. And at first, I was right troubled when I'd see this uh, field cultivator. When I would get down into this area right in here, and I'd see this thing just kind of get jammed full of uh, roots and debris and things like that. And then it gets packed up under there, and then it won't, as you can see right here, it's not really digging. But actually, what it's doing, it's gathering a bunch of that crap up and bringing it down. And then uh, I just raised the, I just raised the thing up. Hopefully the tractor don't roll away. What it's trying to do. I just raise it up and it falls out. And then I'll go back over it. So I might do the same pass twice. First time, bringing all this debris down. And then the second time, actually uh, giving it some tillage. And if it, if it jams up again at the other end of the field, I'll raise it up at the headlines and let that debris out and then come back down and uh, so it, it's actually not my drethers that you know, some of this stuff would come up but on the other hand it needs to uh, to a certain extent and uh, and then just debris needs to be raked off this field in some ways I mean we can grind it down with the disc but uh, one way or another, by hook or crook, this field is going to get worked up all the way around that barn and from uh, fence row to fence row, and we're going to plant something in here. Uh, but uh, So I think what I'm going to do with my bucket on my Massey Ferguson is I'm going to take the bucket off and leave the manure forks. I'm going to come in here and pick this stuff up and just set it over at the edge of the woods. I hope that'll work. I don't know why I wouldn't, but let me keep going. So you see all this debris from where the uh, guy with the parsley marker, and you can kind of see where I came up through here, and basically, uh, let's see, there's a little dark spot on down there a little bit. Uh, so I'm di I, I'm digging, and then uh, it, it, the thing kind of jams up, and at that point it's kind of a drag, and I'm picking up all kinds of stuff. Uh, with the uh, field cultivator on the first pass. But then the second pass through, it's starting to dig, like right in here. And so, you know, where there's sod, it'll go down. And of course, a lot of debris here that's going to have to be uh, worked down or picked up. I'm not sure. The total answer to that but uh, the bottom line is I'm doing a number on these roots I just feel like I need to uh, really gouge this soil and, uh, so that's what I'm doing Tried to sprinkle a little bit. I'm gonna go till I can't, till I can't see or uh, I get rained out. But uh, like I say, multiple passes uh, here, and uh, I should be finished this quadrant over in here. Shouldn't take too long, and hopefully I can move into these spots on either side of the barn uh, before, I, before it gets dark or I get rained out. I'll come back.
So I don't know if you can see it, but you can kind of see over here and over here where I've been through and my cultivator, again, kind of acting like a, 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 a really heavy duty York rake, is kind of sweeping a lot of this kind of stuff right in here. And then on my second pass across, I mean, it's starting to get jammed up a little bit over there on that side. But on my second pass across, you can see that I'm cutting down. You can see that I'm cutting down in the ground really good. And that's what I want. And uh, I've kind of made a little bit of a loop. I haven't uh, run across that yet. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting to where I'm running out of room to make turns at the headlands. So I'm just kind of making a little bit of loop and going around like that. But uh, so I'm kind of sweeping up this kind of stuff and building up some piles on the other end. And uh, I think it's working out pretty good. I didn't, you know, I didn't set out to do it this way. Uh, I really wanted to use my disc. And then when I decided that that wasn't probably the, the best option, uh, given the 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 uh, the sod over in some of these other parts, and uh, of course, when you put the field cultivator on and bust up the sod, I'm still coming down in here with a, uh, you know, where the autumn olives were, and uh, kind of getting what I can get, but I think it's working out pretty good. I mean, it, there's still a lot of debris out here that somehow we're going to have to pick up or tamp down but uh, I think this is a constructive thing for this field and we'll just see how it turns out so let me keep going kind of bring this uh, video to a close but uh, really making a dent in it uh, again there's a lot of debris yet and uh, this soil all across this farm uh, is such a, a, it's a sandy loamy soil I mean, this is just some really good, this is some really good ground, and uh, I'm kind of surprised I haven't brought up more rocks, because certainly down on that end of the farm, uh, we are the Saudi Arabia of rocks, and what happens is, sometimes when you do get a rock, it's like digging a potato, you know, and uh, but, and of course I can't half walk uh, on this where it's kind of ridged up, but uh, but uh, I'm making progress. I'm uh, right pleased with how the field cultivator's doing. And... Uh, I tell you, it's just uh, this is this is coming out a lot better than I thought it was going to, considering all the debris down here, uh, considering all the debris that was in here and in the autumn olives beforehand, and uh, I'm definitely working the the John Deere. It's doing a good job, but uh, it's certainly under load and. Uh, I'd be curious as uh, to your comments and uh, your thoughts on uh, what I got going on.
what I got going on here. And so, let me just wind the video down while I got some daylight. And uh, what a great hay field this is going to be when I get done with it. The John Deere 5055D, the backbone of this farm. I've got my bread cane cultivator here on the back and uh, kind of making making some inroads here on the on this field I got plenty more to do plenty more passes we'll talk to you later